okay hello so good morning to all can you hear me yes sir good morning sir. yes yes sir. sir good morning sir so so uh, today we will uh, start this uh, samsung t8 lo rule we have all, uh, earlier seen samsung one third rule and uh, single application of samsung one third rule and uh, composite uh, samsung one third rule so uh, today we will see what is this uh, samsung 38 by rule you can see here that integral i is represented by 3 by 8 h times and uh, some uh, uh, functions are being added here so you see that uh, the value of function at uh, extreme points is given weight of 1 it, that is it is multiplied with the coefficient 1 where these inner points are multiplied with the value of coefficient 3 so this is Simpson 3 by 8 rule and uh, uh, in equation number 14 1 you can see this uh, uh, error estimate is uh, given by uh, b minus a this to the power four six four eight zero and the value of function uh, mean average value of the fourth derivative of the function so uh, let us uh, solve uh, one problem based on simpson 3 by 8 rule uh, you see this value of function hmm, it uh, that uh, integral has been divided uh, uh, into three parts uh, and uh, uh, four values uh, for that uh, it uh, uh, need to be obtained that is f of zero and uh, uh, value of a uh, function at points uh, this uh, point two six six seven and uh, similarly at uh, this uh, point uh, Five uh, three 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 and point eight. So this is uh, we have multiplied uh, the extreme values with coefficient one. However, for the inner points, we have multiplied uh, the value of function with the three. So this is uh, all about the Simpson three eight rule. We'll solve some problem. So uh, if you look in the summary of a single application of trapezoidal rule, Simpson one third rule and Simpson. 3 by 8 rule which is uh, given in it, this table so you can clearly see the difference between the three formulas and uh, so uh, uh, please e evaluate this integral using simpson 3 by 8 rule because that is question number 11 and question number 12 you have the notes with you you have the formula you uh, divide the interval and uh, uh, evaluate this in uh, this take h is equal to uh, 4 can you solve it try it on your own it depends uh, on how much uh, value in uh, exam in mid semester exam value of h will be given to you but uh, here you may assume in question number four question number 11 and 12 you may assume any value of h and uh, the accuracy of the result will uh, depend on the higher value of you uh, h you take in your other this uh, uh, calculation Sir, uh, interval use can you uh, It depends on you uh, how much accuracy you have the exact answer. You can evaluate the exact answer also. So the more uh, the interval you uh, you take, H is equal to four. Sir, seven point eight four seven. Okay, you can cross check your answer with the, the this uh, uh, percentage error. How much percentage error you are getting? Okay, sir.
Okay, so you try these two questions uh, on your own. We are further proceeding towards our next topic. This is called uh, uh, gas cartridge uh, uh, method to evaluate the integral of any function. So uh, uh, you can see here in this figure the eight that the Poseidon rule is based on taking area under the straight line connecting the function values at the end of the integration interval. So uh, at the end of uh, this, uh, uh, taking the uh, points, uh, we calculate uh, uh, the integral that is area under the curve by using uh, single uh, single application of this trapezoidal rule. The formula that is used to compute area is graphical uh, de uh, depiction of uh, trapezoidal rule is uh, the area under the straight line joining the fixed point. So area under the straight line joining the fixed point, uh, 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 we get uh, the, uh, the value of integral using the single application of trapezoidal rule. However, the, uh, if we make a slight, slight modification and uh, uh, the points are no longer uh, this fixed, but uh, rather they are, uh, uh, means uh, they can be shifted. So if you look into the point B, uh, this is what it is written an improved integral estimate that is in, uh, the value of integral will be more accurate uh, uh, by taking area under the straight line passing through two points uh, intermediate points by positioning these points wisely the positive and negative error are better balanced and improved uh, uh, integral estimate can be uh, found from here so we will see how this got, uh, what is the exact procedure, how do we implement this gross quadrature uh, method. So now suppose that uh, the constraint uh, of fixed base uh, was removed and we were free to evaluate the area under the straight line joining two points on the curve. So by positioning uh, these points wisely, we could uh, define the straight line that would balance the positive and negative error, hence, as in figure 8b, we would arrive an improved estimate of the integral. So if we place these uh, points wisely, we will get a better estimate of the integral uh, when compared with the exact solution. So before describing the approach, uh, we will show how numerical integration formula such as trapezoidal rule can be derived using method of undetermined coefficient. So uh, uh, we will see this, uh, how we can wisely use this trapezoidal rule to uh, 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 determine the value of integral and get a uh, this uh, uh, more uh, 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 more accurate uh, uh, estimate. So method method of undetermined coefficient. Suppose that uh, uh, we are applying in a uh, 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 trapezoidal rule and uh, using this uh, single application of trapezoidal rule, which is given by for equation number forty three. So uh, what you can see that we can uh, assume this uh, uh, function as uh, this uh, C0 and uh, C1. This is given by this uh, equation 44. Now, suppose that uh, 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 we want to apply this uh, uh, trapezoidal rule uh, by this uh, uh, using one this uh, uh, constant function that is y is equal to one line. And uh, also, we you, uh, we wish to determine the uh, value of integral for y is equal to x line. That is, uh, two integrals we wish to evaluate y is equal to 1 and y is equal to x line using this uh, uh, single application of a trapezoidal rule. So here you can look at that uh, the area under the curve is given by uh, 1 into uh, uh, dx. And the limit of integration, you can see here that this is minus b by a by 2 to b minus uh, b minus a by 2. So uh, if you look here that uh, uh, the value of function is constant throughout uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, limit. So uh, using this equation number 44, if you look uh, carefully, look the value uh, equation number 44, f of a, that is a lower limit uh, value of function at uh, uh, minus, uh, minus b minus a by 2, the value of function is 1. So here c naught into 1, 
and value of function at uh, second uh, uh, point that is my b minus a by 2 the, uh, there also we have the value of function 1 so uh, here uh, this kind of the equation 44 can be represented as c0 plus c1 and uh, uh, the exact value of integral is equal to minus b minus a by 2 to plus b minus a by 2 into 1 into dx however if you look uh, for the case uh, here that is uh, y is equal to x line so y is equal to x line again use equation number the 44 y is equal to x line the value of function at point minus b minus a by 2 is the same as uh, uh, this y is equal to x and uh, x at x is equal to b minus a by 2 the values for function is also b minus a by 2 so uh, we have uh, equated uh, substituted the value of function in equation number 44 and equated it to this uh, uh, integral minus b by a by 2 to uh, this uh, uh, x into dx taking the limits now once uh, you have this uh, 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 we can solve the value of uh, coefficient c0 and c1 which is comes out to be b minus a by 2 and uh, we can substitute in equation number 44 again uh, uh, get uh, the value which is nothing but the trapezoidal rule so this is an alternative method how can we uh, we can evaluate the this uh, int value of integral so now uh, uh, we used to do in our plus two level this change of variable while uh, doing this integration uh, similarly here also uh, uh, we want we wish to uh, change the the limit of integration so as to simplify the calculations so uh, suppose that uh, uh, i assume one uh, this uh, uh, function uh, x uh, value x variable x which is related to value uh, variable x at e and uh, when x is equal to a the variable x at e is equal to minus 1 and when x is equal to b the value of uh, variable x t is equal to plus 1 so you uh, we can substitute back into equation number 45 and uh, solve it for the this uh, a1 and a2 which comes out to be b plus a by 2 and uh, b minus a by 2 once again we substitute uh, the uh, it in original uh, value of uh, this x uh, the value of coefficients we will get uh, something 48 and if we differentiate equation number 48 we will get something represented by equation 49 so uh, for the uh, function if uh, we want to uh, change uh, uh, we want to solve uh, calculate the value of integral using this uh, uh, change of variable approach then we have to make substitutions for x and uh, dx as given by equation 48 and 49 respectively so let us see how the, uh, do we do this exercise so suppose that uh, uh, we want to use two point gauss uh, uh, legend formula to evaluate the integral given by equation number 50 so uh, we can assume uh, this integral to be as i and which is represented by equation number 51 and put the value of coefficient c0 and c1 is equal to 1 now uh, uh, in gauss uh, uh, this two point gauss legend formula we will remember that uh, value of function is uh, evaluated at two extreme points that is f of uh, 1 by root 3 and uh, this uh, minus 1 by root 3 and we uh, then add these two integrals so uh, using this approach and uh, using uh, uh, this uh, 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 this uh, change of variable approach we will combine these two and uh, substitute uh, the, uh, for x is equal to uh, we will substitute 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 x a d and uh, uh, differential element is given by 0 0.4 x a d uh, x a d 
so now the new limits are no longer zero to pointed it has been changed to uh, minus one to one and uh, corresponding uh, values uh, of x has also been changed and uh, this dx element has been replaced to point four so once you have this uh, uh, this is uh, uh, in the form of uh, this two point gauss legender formula so simply we will substitute uh, uh, the function given inside the limit that is uh, inside the limit of minus one to one we will simply substitute uh, this uh, uh, these values and uh, get uh, this uh, value of uh, integral at two points that is minus one by root three and one by root three and we will add these uh, two values to get the uh, uh, value of uh, in, uh, integral this is two point gauss uh, legend formula where we have assigned the weights of coefficient as one and one only if we wish to uh, use three point uh, gauss legend formula uh, we will multiply the weights c0 c1 and c2 with 5 by 9, 8 by 9, 5 by 9 value and evaluate the function at minus root 3 by 5, 0 and plus root 3 by 5 and uh, we will get more accurate results which you can see uh, this in uh, uh, where the function has been evaluated, uh, the value of integral has been evaluated at uh, uh, using 3 point Gauss legend formula. So, which comes out to be an exact value of 1.64053, level C, which is given by equation number 48. So, anything we need to discuss up to uh, this point? You have a look on the, uh, this uh, uh, calculations, then we'll uh, proceed uh, towards our next part. Okay, so uh, uh, because Gauss quadrature requires function evaluation at non uniformly space point within integral regression in limit, is, it is not appropriate for cases where the function is unknown. So, if we have only discrete data that is tabulated data, we, uh, we cannot apply this uh, Gauss quadrature method to evaluate the integral. And this is particularly true when numerous uh, integration evaluation must be performed. So, if a value of function is known, then uh, we can uh, use this method to find, uh, evaluate the value of integral. Now, can anybody solve these these two problems using Gauss quadrature uh, uh, formula? First is that we will uh, shift uh, the, uh, these two values that is uh, using change of variable approach. We will uh, get the express uh, x in terms of xd and dx in terms of uh, uh, dxd and change the limit of integration from minus uh, 0 to 8 to minus 1 to 1. Please solve it. You have the, a, a solved example similar to uh, given problem in question number 10. Since three point Gauss quadrature uh, formula has to be used, then we will evaluate uh, uh, the, the function that is uh, obtained using change of variable at uh, root three, uh, root three by five and uh, we will multiply with a factor of 5 by 9 that that will give us i1 that is first integral similarly i2 and i3 need to be calculated and we have to add these three to get the exact next value of the integral can you solve this Abhijit, Ayan, Ayush. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, Ayan, can you solve this? 
अंकित सरकार okay so you try these problems and uh, uh, you can solve these two problems uh, uh, using uh, uh, the similar approach which we followed in the last example you try it on your own so uh, let us proceed towards our next topic which is the last topic uh, of your the, this fourth unit and uh, this is romberg integration suppose that uh, we want wish to evaluate uh, we uh, evaluate uh, this uh, uh, integral using composite trapezoidal rule so uh, we have some error which is of a first order so we uh, we have written this as uh, this uh, i is equal to i h plus error uh, error now uh, uh, depending on the step size the uh, Uh, this uh, the accuracy of integral will depend upon this. So suppose that we have two step size that is h1 and h2. We will substitute in uh, this uh, uh, equation number 52. So uh, we will get the value of ex uh, exact value of the integral. But uh, you see here that uh, we have uh, taken two intervals uh, h1 and h2, which is given by equation number 53. so the error involved in this process is uh, something uh, which is given by p minus a upon 12 this is an approximate error h square and uh, the average value of uh, 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 this uh, second derivative of the function so now you uh, look all these three equations 52 53 and 54 so we have some error why do we take uh, this an interval at uh, h1 and uh, there is also some error involved why will we take an uh, 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 this uh, uh, we while we evaluate the integral using an interval of h2 and which is nothing but uh, uh, is square times of uh, this uh, uh, this uh, yeah, length of the interval that is h And this is h h one square and h two square. You can uh, rearrange this equation number fifty five and uh, write it in the form uh, represented by equation number fifty six. So once we have this equation number fifty six, so we will substitute back into this uh, our the equation fifty seven and uh, on rearranging we can express uh, the uh, error obtained using the in the step size of h two. in terms of uh, exact value uh, the, in terms of uh, integral my value of integral at uh, h1 interval and value of integral at h2 interval and uh, this length of the interval so once you have this and uh, we will rearrange these terms and uh, if you carefully look into this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this equation number 62 If this uh, h1 is equal to half, uh, h2 is equal to half of h1, this uh, equation number 61 uh, may be represented in the form uh, expressed given by equation number 62. So, based on this, uh, let us uh, solve uh, on uh, uh, problem. So, use uh, the chart, uh, the chart and extra extrapolation to evaluate the integral of uh, this function. From zero uh, to uh, a line between zero to point eight, and uh, you can see that uh, by using single application of composite trapezoidal rule, we have the error involved is eighty nine point five percent. However, if we uh, wish to use this uh, uh, composite uh, trapezoidal rule, taking segment of two and four, the error involved is thirty four point nine and nine point five. Now, uh, using this table. 
uh, we want to wish to evaluate the uh, 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 use uh, this uh, Richardson extrapolation and uh, combining these results. So here you can see this. written uh, using the formula given in our expression number for 62 we can get uh, the value as 1.3674 and 67 and uh, when it is compared to uh, the uh, true error which is 16.6 percent similarly if we take a step size of h uh, uh, this is h4 and uh, uh, this uh, h2 so we will get an um, uh, value of integral as 1.623467 and uh, the other involved in this case is only just a one one percent error so we have uh, used uh, uh, the uh, obtained value uh, from two uh, uh, this composite uh, uh, trapezoidal rule and obtained a more accurate results by using this uh, composite uh, value of integral obtained using composite trapezoidal rule now uh, this was uh, this uh, uh, Richardson extrapolation technique, Lombard integration. So uh, this is an assignment for you, and uh, you may submit it after the mid semester examination. So uh, um, in mid semester examination, um, up to three three units will be asked. And uh, we will have one more class in on Friday, uh, which will uh, be this. Uh, we will take. I will taking this uh, uh, fifth unit, and uh, uh, third unit I will covering uh, at a later point of uh, time when the classes will go in offline mode. So uh, uh, this is the syllabus for up to uh, for mid semester. That is unit one, two, and your uh, sorry unit one uh, and. Uh, one was uh, this uh, unit uh, for the, uh, this unit two and unit four. So on Friday and Wednesday, I'll take unit five, but uh, that will not be asked in your mid semester. So this is all for the mid semester examination. And for today's class, if you wish to stay here and have some doubt, you may ask it after the break of five minutes. Otherwise, you may leave. I will share you the book uh, um, book also by today evening. I have already shared the notes. I will share the book also.
So anyone wish to discuss anything? Okay, so if there are no queries, I'll end the class. We will meet on the Friday.